Five, four, three, two, twenty-three and me looks back in your history. Twenty-three and me is a DNA testing service that can offer insights into your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. And let me tell you guys something. Tell we got some results back. Kalala got some results oh back, and they're very God. interesting. Can't wait to hear these. She's for many years. She's been saying that she was a quarter Egyptian, Egyptian. and she's not. I'm not. <gasps> she's a little bit of a Jew, though. Wait, My grandmother who lived there, was raised in Egypt, spoke Arabic, owned a vineyard in Egypt. We just assumed that. Turns out she was not. She just happened to live there. And um, here, you want to see my breakdown? Don't say too many. It's a lot. I'm a lot of things. This is, whoa. Okay, it's so. It's too many things. Well, the first part, 26%. But Bobby um, is not wrong. I am damn, 50%, French. 50% European, definitely. Yeah. So French and German, 26.4%. Thank you. And after that, it takes a big drop to Eastern European, 3.1%. Mostly Filipino, though. But Go mostly back. Filipino. Oh, 48.6. Yeah. I'm also Asian. part Balkan. Also part Jewish. Wow. That is insane. It's so insane. Guys, make sure you get your reports. Uh, get that in there. Order your 23andMe Health and Ancestry Service Kit at 23andMe.com slash TigerBelly. And that's the number 23andMe.com slash TigerBelly. One second. One, I got to feel it, dude. Yeah. I got to fucking feel it tonight. All right? Got it. Got it. Everyone just let's live in the moment and let's just see what the fuck happens, okay? Okay. I just said not to fucking say anything, Felipe. Okay. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. Hi. Hi, everybody. My name is Bob. And uh, I just want to bless everyone listening today. This is a very special episode. Um, I have an old friend on that I've, I've known. I mean... I've known him for a very long time, Um, but let's do room introductions um, first. My name is um, Senor Robert Lee, Bob Lee. We've got Gilbert Flat. (laughs) Flat or no? You have a flat face. (laughs) My name is Gilbert Flat. No, No, it's like a tiki statue. Mm. If I went on an island, if I went on an island, dude, right? Yeah. yeah. And it was like, like a deserted island right Mm -hmm. and I went through the forest and I saw a gigantic tiki statue with three of your heads on the tiki statue I would leave oh danger yeah okay (laughs) we've got my beautiful girlfriend Kalila Uh, she's here look at her let's all take a (laughs) look at her take a look take a look look. she's the best we got fuck nut I can't even believe the racist shit he was saying earlier. <laughs> I that you know what this motherfucker? Because Felipe was coming on and he goes, "Yeah, I like a Mexican. I like going out with Mexican Mexican chicks because they like to fuck and they make good babies." Is that what you said? <laughs> <laughs> they make... best ever Shut the fuck up, white guy, man. That's fucking bullshit, oh dude. Oh my god! Don't double down on yeah. Yeah, do not double down on that. This next guest coming to this, c- coming here today um, is uh, a guy. I think I met him in the late nineties. Um, Maybe the Latino left as well. I, I don't. I think something in that time period. Um, he just had an HBO special last year. Um, he has a Netflix special out. He's probably one of the most interesting stand-ups out there. Um, I love his voice. He's genuine. Um, he's like a fat Benicio del Toro. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, he is. His eyes are lost. You know, which I love. You know, um, they puff out. Look at that face, man. It just puffs out his face, mm. you know? Um, he's got good teeth. You did something to your teeth, huh? What? You, you bleach your teeth or something, or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I brush, man. You brush? You brush? I, yeah. I, yeah. I finally con- convinced myself to buy a water paint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Felipe Esparza, clap your hands, everybody. Give him a round of applause. What's up, fool? <laughs> Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have I known you, man? A long time, man. I think the first time I saw you, you were wearing like overalls. Oh, that's right. That's right. You wore overalls? Yeah, I used to wear. Yeah, skateboard. Yeah. <laughs> overalls? Yeah. You? Like an overall, like really overall dickies, fool. Yeah, dickies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Representing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? I used to wear dickies, over- but because. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why? But yeah. Why? You didn't know why back then? Yeah, you yeah. You had them. Yeah, I just had them, yeah. Well, what happened was, yeah. back in the day, I, I've said this before, is that all I played was. Hispanic rooms oh right so then I'm like I'm an Asian guy playing a lot of Hispanic rooms I'll just go to the army surplus store 
And I, when I got <laughs> overalls, Dickies? thinking that that's Dickies, you know? Yeah. And then I, uh, yeah, I was just a weird fucking guy. Did dude. you get impressed? I don't, they never, you guys never said anything like, what are you wearing, fool? <laughs> Everybody thought you were the plumber. <laughs> Did you like me back then, or did you think I was weird? I thought you were cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always liked you, man. I met you when you were, how old were you? But Young, right? We were hanging out at the comedy store, and they were um, they were um, booking that show with, with Carlos Mencia hosting, oh, Jeff yeah. Valdez. Oh, yeah, Funny is Funny, or one of those, K-Loco. Yeah, Nelly Ganal. Yeah. Local Slam. Oh, local Slam, local that's Slam, right. Local Slam, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got there, and you you, you told me, what's up, man? Oh, you should yeah. be auditioning for that. I said, what the auditioning for? I didn't even know. <laughs> oh, you didn't? I was new. Oh, yeah, you were new. You used to hang out with Gabe I, a lot, too. I've only knew, uh, back, back then, only known, the only Latino comedian that I knew besides, um, it was only Freddy Soto and um, Johnny Sanchez. Wow. And then you, I knew you. You knew me, yeah. You knew me, Freddy. But I knew um, Jamie Kennedy, and <laughs> because I started at the Natural Fudge. Oh, you did? I on Fountain, so I met him. Um, That's how you met Jamie. Jamie, Jamie Kennedy, yeah. Yeah, that's what I said, Jamie Kennedy, man. Yeah, not Jamie Masada. I didn't say Jamie Masada. <laughs> Why'd you think that I said Jamie Masada? He said, like, Jamie, like, you know, Jamie Masada. No, I didn't. No, I, no wait. Wait, wait, no, no. <laughs> Felipe, Jamie Masada. Felipe, 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 Felipe. This is recorded. This is fucking recorded, dude. And I'm going to tell you something right now, man. I never said Masada, okay. bro. Okay. I said Jamie Kennedy. Yeah, Jamie Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was just kind of affirming what you said, yeah, okay. right? And then you got all fucking weird. No, I'm, I'm weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So Jamie Kennedy, not no, Masada. Jamie, Jamie yeah, Kennedy. yeah, yeah. But this is before he was famous or what? Oh, way before he was famous. I think he was living in his car. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he was trying to get to um, New York, um, London for some acting class where he wrote a bunch of letters to a bunch of famous actors. Whoa. Yeah, that was before he fund me, man. You gotta write a letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta write that letter. Yeah, you know, yeah. a real good letter with a thank you, a little quote in the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jamie. Um, he didn't make it as a stand up, right? He he did stand up, but he could audition, <laughs> and that's how he he got him to scream. And then and then, did you know him after that or no? Yeah, I knew him after that. Yeah, yeah. At the Laugh Factory, I think I opened up for him at the. Long Beach Laugh Factory and yeah. Jennifer, he was dating Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, that's right. And it was cool that when I came out of the store, she was out there selling merch. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, yeah. Selling yeah. merch. Yeah, she was, yeah. Wow. That's, like what, a, what, that's what, you know. That's what chicks do. Chicks do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh. <laughs> Come on, man. You got to earn those chicken tenders. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I knew him back then. <laughs> but he's always been like that, this guy. He's talked the same, right? He's always super nice, you know, super funny. Um, I was always afraid of Willie Barsena. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, also, also I, went to, I, went, I went to a lot of places where your name would pop up and I said, yeah, Barbara Lee mentioned you. Like when I went to Mad TV one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to meet them, you, you know. know why? I... I I'm, I'm a, I think you, you are unique. You know that word? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you're unique, man. And then when you started hitting it, dude, I mean, you, you just you, you just got to feel pride, you know? Because let me say something right now, man. You have Hispanic comics, right? A lot of them do the same things. Am I not right? Right? They talk about the same things. But then when you get somebody that's like a little different, like you and Gene Pompa. Hey, little bear. <laughs> yeah, little bear, right? Gene Pompa, you go, that's, this is amazing. This is what we need to be supporting. You know, you're, you're not just, you're not Hispanic. You're just Felipe Esparza, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah? I was just born in Mexico. Oh, you were? Yeah. Where? Sinaloa. Mm. Oh, I love it. I was it. born by the town where they call it Chapo. Yeah. <laughs> I love it there. Yeah. The fruits. What are they known for? What? What are they? The fruits. Oh, just the fruits. Right, and and the landscape. Oh yeah. Yeah, and then they have these um, frijole groves. (laughs) Frijole groves. Yeah. Delicious. (laughs) They refry them. (laughs) Where where I'm from, they have have stuff like that. They have this this tree where actual gum grows. It's called wamuchil, and it tastes like kind of like raspberry and strawberry. Mm. But it's an actual plant, and you chew it. 
and it tastes like gum. What's it called? Wamuchi. 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 It's spelled G U A. What? Yeah. Or Yeah. So it's 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 like you're walking down a path, you see a wamuchi tree, right? Get a little piece. What? Do you have to climb the tree to get it? Not really. Oh, well, you short. just reach around. You reach. You, you, you can just reach around there. They grow like flowers. <laughs> oh, they do. And you just stick. You don't have to wash it or nothing. Nothing, man. And it chews. You chew it. You chew it just like gum. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. But my um my relatives. In Mexico, they're like savages, bro. They're like, they what, dance just... with beads on their on their on their legs. They, <laughs> <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, yeah, they put yeah. beads on their wrists and their yeah. and their ankles. My grandfather, that's what he did. Yeah, well, he he used to be. Yeah, exactly like that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't do anything yet though. But like, <laughs> I go like this, like this, and he goes, yeah, that's yeah, like just like that. just like my grandpa. Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything yet. So are they naked? They had beads. Kind of no, they were like a little Tarzan little. Little oh, shorts. Oh, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they use it because they're um, indigenous, like, tr- what do you call indigenous, it? Indigenous, right? They're indigenous. Like, yeah, they're like Aztec. Aztec. Aztec-y. Oh. Right. So you're, you're an Aztec. Right? I was a little kid when I saw this stuff. I'm like, I don't remember most of this stuff. <laughs> yeah. I just know, like, little things my mom would tell me. Like, my father, um, he worked as a machinist. So he knew how to, like, I guess, um, make shit with machine. And, and he took me to, he took me to um, his job one day and, and uh, he, it is funny, man, but I, I saw a movie, and it kind of, what did that happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> this movie with Robert Redford, The Natural. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His I father, love that movie. His father makes him a bat. Well, my father took me to work, and he, he got this little stump, and he made, he made me a little fucking bat, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah, and um, so I was like three years old or four, but after that, I, my dad didn't take me to, to work anymore, so I... I would try to follow him, and I think I ran away like 10 times when I was like three Aww. or four. Ten times. My mom, one time she tied me up like a rooster. <laughs> like, like, on my ankles to a gate. <laughs> that is how they tie up roosters. <laughs> that's, that's how they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was a like, gallo. A <laughs> gallo. Gallito. <laughs> Why don't they just put a little bell around your neck? Oh, don't people do good. that? Do people do that? You could. A little bell? That's sad, but they probably do. Mm. Where? Disneyland is a bunch of things, a bunch yeah. of things like that tied up too, like little they, oh, harness, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pets, they, harnesses. They, they're yeah. the ones that like snap back too. So if you run too far, you like kind of <laughs> yeah. bounce back. Let me to ask the you parents. something. What? What's wrong with that? La leash, putting your kids on yeah. a leash. Look, if you have five kids, I don't blame you for keeping your kids on a leash. But yeah, if but you have one of, kid, you should be able to watch that one kid. You shouldn't have that one kid on a leash. But that got a really bad like rap when like, you see old ladies or ladies at the Walmart, mm-hmm. yeah. and they have their kids on a leash. Yeah, right. As long as they're not hurting them, is that bad or? Yeah, but these kids would like run full steam in one direction, and then and all they, of a sudden come to a all, full all stop, right, right. That's not and good. break their spine. Yeah, they'll get you know? the whiplash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. what it is. They make yeah. it cute though. They make these little leeches a little like Adventure Time. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Oh, yeah, they do. They're yeah, all yeah. fancy. Yeah, oh, they are. They're like little backpacks. Little almost. backpack, yeah. little yeah. lunch bag. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd make mine punk rock. Ooh. But with like spikes and stuff too. Yeah. Oh, like on the, the inside. Like on the inside. Like a pinch with collar what? for dogs. Yeah, yeah. So if you pull it, just get a little bit of a, you know what I mean? Yeah, like a pinch collar for like dogs. A pin, yeah, like a pinch collar. Yeah, yeah. I put a muzzle on mine. <laughs> <laughs> he has a cold. Watch out. You have three kids, right? Yes, I have three kids. I had my first kid when I was in high school. Wow. I was like what? seventeen years old. I didn't know you had a kid in high school. Yeah. But did you raise you? Did, did you raise him when you were doing comedy and stuff? No. She was like a lot. Of, a lot of things happened after that, you know. Like, I remember when she told me she was pregnant. I was at lunchtime. In school? Yeah, it was pizza day on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so specific. <laughs> pizza Wednesday. <laughs> yeah. She told me I'm pregnant. I, I picked up my lunch, went to another table. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, I, 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 we we broke up. You know, she went off with some other dude, and I never saw them again for a long, long, long time. Yeah. Then I won, I won last comic standing and they filed for child support. Oh. Long story, she became the last baby mama standing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They took, it's funny, man, when you get it, I never noticed it, but oh, I, I, I noticed it now, but when you when you get a lot of money, it's like everybody finds out fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I, I owe like an oven, man, to uh, Montgomery I, Ward. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. They closed down like 15 years ago, but somebody <laughs> bought the account. 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 wow. 229 bucks. Yeah. And, and an unemployment, getting checks. Yeah. What well, did you have IRS problems too? Or oh, no? hell no. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, gotta I make I, money to lose, to owe them. When I started making money, I didn't know you had to fucking um, file, pay them. Pay five for taxes. <laughs> so for yeah, for like five years, I didn't pay nothing. And then one day I went to. Were you doing urban comedy? <laughs> <laughs> and they, I owed the IRS like over two hundred thousand dollars, bro. Fuck, it's hard to pay, man. Yeah, I know. I had, I had to go on a payment plan, and the whole because you know people don't know when you start your in comedy, you're broke. You never think you're ever gonna make any money. Never, right? man. Yeah, and the kind of money you do make, you get like a hundred dollars, mm-hmm. fifty bucks, fifty bucks. Mm-hmm. We go to Visalia, right up there in that holiday. That, where the there. onion, onion town? Yeah. yeah, I went there with Garcia once and Jeff Garcia. I remember him telling me, "Hey, bro, you know, in our careers, I'm gonna make more money than you." That's what he said to me. Who said that? Jeff Garcia. What the fuck? I never fucking said that back. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that to me. And then I remember him. I couldn't get any. <laughs> I couldn't get any pussy, and he, For her. he hooked up with a girl in the. We shared the same room. Yeah. And I remember hooking him hooking up with a girl in the bathroom, and me just seeing, being so sad on the bed. Mm. So sad, you know. <laughs> what, what's so funny? I couldn't get pussy before. For a long time. I know, but the fact that you were just standing there, like just <laughs> yeah. thinking about a guy having sex with another woman. I did that with Ari Shafir too. Once I was in a fucking closet and oh, I yeah. watched him through the crack make love to a woman. Did you have to watch? I watched. <laughs> I watched the little Jew fucking white cheeks go up and down. One, one time I, I thought we were gonna get laid, but I actually drove this chick to go fuck somebody. <laughs> Oh, really? What made you think you up. guys were gonna? Well, you, have, you were gonna get laid. Well, I was a rookie, bro. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you drove all the way over there. You learned, man. <laughs> you, you, through time, right? You make mistakes. Now, man, you, you, it doesn't happen again, bro. Now you, you, you get a hand job on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm but not, I was fucked up, man. But you always seem like you got girls. Afterwards, you know. Oh yeah, when you got after last comic standing. After que locos. Right, K hey, Locos was great for us though. Yeah, I, I was my first TV credit was um, the Showtime Latino Laugh Festival. Right, I did that too. I, I didn't do the Showtime, but I did go to the festival one year. I told you guys that yeah. about that already. Mm-hmm. But um, those K Locos mm-hmm. for with Mike Robles, yeah, with Mike Robles for ethnic guys that weren't African American and white. Right, the others, especially obviously Mexicans, but they invited guys like me also because they provided us. A voice, mm. which is that's why I always thank the you know the Hispanic Hispanic comedy scene. You know, I opened for Mencia all those years, and um, you know, but he, he, I have to call Carlos about his Instagram. His Instagram is driving me fucking crazy. Why is that updated? No, it's just like he does videos like, "Hey, I'm in Fort Worth, bro. Come see me," and then that's it. That's Willie Barcena. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my Carlos Mencia. Oh, <laughs> they have similar Instagrams then. Yeah, oh, does Willie does that too? He goes on some real weird rants, you know. All right. Hey, liberals. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy rant. <laughs> that's all he says. That's all he knows. Uh, yeah. Is he right wing? I don't know what he is, man. Yeah, yeah. Left hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're. What are you? What are you? I, don't, I can't vote, man. I'm not an American citizen. Oh, but I could pay someone to vote for me. <laughs> you could do that, yeah. I think that's a great... Because I don't, kind of don't want to vote either. Just start telling people you're not an American citizen. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Lee. I'm not, not an American citizen. <laughs> they go, where are you born? I go, Shanghai. Is that a place? Singapore, oh, yeah. Yeah, is that a place? That a, I think it's yeah. a place, yeah. yeah Shanghai. Is. And they'll be like, oh, well, if you did vote, I, I can't vote. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, dude. Also, if you're like a, if you're a criminal, you can't vote to do your eyes. You're done. Really? Maybe I'll just relapse again. <laughs> just so you can avoid, just so you can also, avoid voting. Also, if you claim um, sovereign citizen, you uh, don't have to vote. Oh, you it's like to, your you, own country? Yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> people do that like if you yeah. live in a Native American country. Yeah. Some, some white people get out, mm-hmm. get away with it, except the airports, you know, because the airport is its own government. You can't do you can't you can't say sovereign citizen, yeah. but but you could say that as, in some places and the if, if only if you had like money though, but 
the police can't arrest you. They have a sheriff deputy, a no, county the officer. Sheriff has to do it. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. The airport is a what? Yeah, airport is it's one of those governor, weird places. Right? Gov- yeah. It's like uh, being at a. It's like being at. At the consulate, man, it's like its own government. Right yeah, there. like for instance, at the airport, like they can, can hold you. They can hold you for longer than they want. Yeah, for let's say, and in fact, let's say for instance, like if you violate your visa, mm-hmm. they can hold you there, and not allow you in, and just send you back. Send it's, you have back. Have you not seen the movie The send Terminal? Send you back. No, no questions that. Yeah. No, no argument. You can't have no trial. It's done. Yeah. You You not seen the movie The Terminal? You the Tom Hanks movie? Yeah, where he's yeah. just stuck there. He lives there. Like, okay, so if I'm Swedish. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's say I'm Swedish, yeah. right? And I went on a rape spree. Okay. At the airport or just no? In, in Sweden. Okay. Okay. Is that too, is that something else spree? <laughs> oh, right, let's we're say on a shopping, shopping, no, illegal no, no, shopping no, no, no. spree. Yeah. Let's say I'm Sweden, right? Yeah. And I just you know kill babies. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I killed like twenty babies. Yeah. All right. That's better. <laughs> and I so somehow you're a woman. Get... <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Just kidding. And so and I got on a flight to LAX. Uh huh. I get to LAX. What can I just stay at the airport and not get in trouble? Just live there, like the terminal. Well, no, they're definitely not going to allow you in Only, past immigration. Yeah, but can I live in that area of just from the gate to the, that? Yeah, depending on how they want to hold you, it's it's up to them. He's saying that you really are subject to the laws of that airport. Wow, I don't understand. It's confusing. What is that? Well, maybe a sp- a Ridge Wallet. Oh, we we go to a sponsor. Ridge, Ridge wallet. wallet. The future in your pocket, pocket will make you feel good. Yum. Yum. Hey guys, <laughs> this wallet, Ridge Wallet, is yep. the best wallet I've ever owned. Stop. Um, the shape, this little a money clip right here, yeah. it doesn't deteriorate. It keeps its clamp. Clamp, right. te- clamp technology. The, the, yeah, it's really clamped clamp technology. technology. It's the future. And then we got uh, cards. They fit here perfectly. And then this titanium casting, right? RFID. Yeah. RFID. Anti theft. Anti theft. That's a carbon, carbon fiber. fiber. Carbon, whatever. Okay. You can also get it in titanium. You can get them titanium. Uh, and aluminum and all these fun col- colors. Like mine is blue and it has a little elastic instead of the clip. Yeah. And everyone in my family has one now. Everyone has it that I know. And if you, if you, if I know you don't have one, you're not mm, my friend. Yeah. Go to ridgewallet.com and use the promo code TigerBelly for 10% off. That is the promo code TigerBelly for 10% off. That's RidgeWallet.com, promo code TigerBelly. <laughs> now onto the show. Oh, oh, Ridge Wallet. Oh, we love the Ridge Wallet. Oh, we love the Ridge Wallet. It's so good. Isn't it a great wallet, Felipe? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I have two of them. Oh. <laughs> Do you really have two Ridge yeah, Wallets? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Do you really do? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, you don't have it. How do you hold your money? A wallet. <laughs> you just have a regular wallet? Regular, regular wallet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came we, with cologne. We're going to get you a Ridge wallet. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you believe when I say that I'm going to get you one? Do you believe Yes, me? I do. Well, well, we don't have one right now. But I'm going to get one. <laughs> yeah, I, am yeah. gonna, I swear to God, I'm going to do everything I can just to get you one, okay? <laughs> For free. Okay. All right? Do We don't have any right now? We'll get tomorrow. We need to get to restart. But make sure when it, yes, George, when we get a Ridge Wallet, because you know I say I say I lie a lot. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And I tell people, right? I told like I told Rob Riggle once that I was gonna get him a vape set. <laughs> right. What Rob Riggle, who's that? He's an actor. He's an actor. Com- SNL, comedian. right? No. No. Like a white. Comedian. He's a white comedian. More actor. He's kind of like a jockey, bigger, older kind of guy. He's on ESPN? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. I saw him, man, do stand-up comedy once <laughs> yeah, in Denver. Oh, fuck yeah, Yeah, man. he's good. He had yeah. this, I don't want to say his bed, but he has this funny-ass bed, man. It's hilarious. Yeah, so you know Rob Riggle. Yes. So one time, I did his <laughs> ESPN show, yeah. and when I was leaving, I go, he saw me vaping, and he goes, oh, I, you know, I smoke, I, I want to vape. I go, I'll get you one, man. What flavors do you like? All that stuff, right? And he told me, and then I just never did it. <laughs> so I just say it, but then like a year later, somebody told me that he, he complained about it. Like that fool was supposed to get me a fucking, like six months later. So when I, I, I just thought to myself, when I say, hey, I'll get you one, I shouldn't say, it. number one, if I don't mean it, I shouldn't say it. Yeah. But if I said it and I just said it, I have to get him one now. Mm-hmm. That's how the world works. Yeah. Okay. So, George, get on it. Yes, 
sir. Get him a fucking Ridge wallet. You have it on there? Yep. What colors do you like? <laughs> what colors do you have? Titanium. Titanium. Well, there's blue, there's gold, there's desert tan, there's yeah. olive green, black. there's black carbon I'm gonna fiber. Show what, I'm going to show green. you what they look like. This is what they look like, okay? Oh. You don't like it? Oh, they look good. <laughs> <laughs> right? He loves it. Right, there's a little money clip here. Yeah? And, but see, they but can't. There's tricks to it. Look. Yeah. You have to, you push this to get your cards out, and then to separate them, you hold this. Like, push this down together. What, like this? Slap out. Yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> like, oh. See, it's so it's simple. Like it's the so Ridge simple. wallet, so it's simple. So simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good one, Kalila. Very good. Good hack. Really good hack. Like, <laughs> did you like it? It's good. Like the technology. Yeah, it's great at the airport. It's great all your cards fly, yeah, fly everywhere. Out, all over the ground. <laughs> and then somebody steals one of your yeah. cards. It's great. That, um, yeah. You, baby, <laughs> let me just say something right now, okay? We are going to lose this. <laughs> all right. We're <laughs> absolutely going to lose a sponsor if you stop with your antics, all right? You're hacked. That's not a thing. Yes, it is. It's not a fucking it thing. Is. Right, it's not. It's not. Look, you're supposed to press down so it fans out. You just don't. You have little, like, ape thumbs. Your ape thumbs can't handle do, like, a like, like, like this? <laughs> that doesn't work. No. It doesn't work. It doesn't no, work. No, just one side. Just pinch one why side. Did you, why, did you, why, did, why the fuck did you give me to do it? <laughs> Maybe I, figured... I have too many cards. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get you one. Oh, right. <laughs> one of these fucking ridge wallets. You ridge know? wallet, amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. Do you even have opposable thumbs? I have fucking. Fu- look at uh, they're shaped weird. <sighs> this one I slammed in a door, and that's why it's flat. I wish that mm-hmm. one was slammed by a door too. <laughs> why this one? Because <laughs> the normal one is weirder. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, how come you date me? I mean, you look at my fingers. You go. Oh. I don't know. I'm questioning everything right now. Yeah, don't yeah, show yeah. me your thumbs again, yeah. please. Is there anything your wife calls you out for on your body? No. Oh. She likes everything about your body. Yeah. yeah. Really? Well, I don't hear no complaints. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we break up. Maybe I hear them. But how long you been? <laughs> how, but how long have you been married? We've been married since um, 2014. I really like her. She's super sweet. I, I did your podcast. She She's just a sweet lady. Do you guys, so since 2013 you've been married? But how long did you date with her before that? Ten years. Eight? No, eight. Let me ask you something. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. How do you keep the, the love, you know what I mean, the sexuality, you know, new and exciting? I don't know. <laughs> do you guys still do it? Yeah. All the time? We try are you forced? See, your- that's a, that's key. Try. We try. try. We try. Would you say twice a week? Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's healthy. That's healthy. Twice a week. And she reminds safe. me of you in the sense that she's like she's a business. You, she's in business with you, right? Yeah, manager. Yeah, she's a manager, and she um, producer of the podcast. Right, and she ha- she's helped him. I I honestly believe. I honestly like. I can't imagine my life without Kalila. I love her so much. But she does so much for me. And all the girlfriends I've had before, just, you know, they were just my girlfriends, but they didn't, they weren't involved. Don't you, doesn't it feel like great when they're involved? Yeah. You trust them. You guys fight a lot? No. Yeah, yeah. You guys are just sweet together, huh? We argue, but not like a fight, like hit each other or. Th- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I, we- <laughs> I know that kind of fight. <laughs> you, you've never hit her. No, we don't yell at each other like a supermarket, nothing like that. <laughs> right, 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 right. Supermarket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You've, you don't seem like a violent guy at all. No, you've never been violent. I have been violent, but that was when I was younger. Right. Haven't Love, we all? Love in my twenties. Yeah. We, worst thing you've done twenties. In your twenties, huh? Yeah, like I, like like I didn't watch that Conor McGregor fight. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that guy going after each other, and you after know, the, the way fight. they went after yeah. each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah, that's a real fight, man. People don't know what a real fight looks like. You know, they've never been punched in the face. You know, unless you've been punched in the face, or you went after someone who went, who punched you in the face, or embarrassed you in front of your lady, yeah. where you look bad. Yeah, you'll never know what was going mm-hmm. through his head. You know, right? Like I remember, um, I, I got into a fight with somebody, and I thought that he was going to beat me up, but I ended up beating him up. And I, when I, and I was, feeling, about, I was yeah. feeling good, you know, I had the adrenaline going. I took my belt off, started whipping him like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> a 
that was your go to move. That was your go to move, yeah, like an animal. His brothers came out of the house. Like, I, I'm like, it was the best ass beating, bro, in front of your house, you know? <laughs> yeah, your yeah. dad looking out the window. He can't, he's, taking, he's, he's, yelling, he's yelling at you from, his, from, the, from the shower, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> his brothers jumped in, they beat the shit out of me. Oh, they did? Yeah, but. Yeah, but. but I still whipped the guy with a belt, you know? They can't take it out. <laughs> They can't, yeah, yeah. they can't take that yeah. away from can't me. Take that they, they yeah, can't. at the end of the day, you won. That's yeah. a good finishing I, move. I, I took the belt whip. Yeah. Even though they beat me up, man, you know, like, their brother still has, like, Echo in Mexico on his face. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, like, they jumped me yeah. when I was about to pee on him. <laughs> oh, well, like, you, they thought oh, it was too much, you know? That's yeah, a that finishing too, move. That's too much. That's a bit much. That's, that's, too much. that's the law of the streets, you know? Oh, that's allowed. You know, it's, it's either gonna get peed on or someone's gonna kill you. You know, I rather get peed on. <laughs> that's, I would choose that, that one, too. I would choose my attitude. You know, I thought going to, back to school. Yeah, like when Ari got my shit together. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened to me. I got my shit together, man. I went to rehab. Uh, oh, did you really? Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, because of not for pot for other things, right? No, for fighting. You know, and oh. not getting into trouble. Oh, All right, crack. Right. All right. Oh. Wow. You just smoke pot now. Yeah. 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 I asked you before we started. You have to smoke every day. Do you smoke every day? Every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Not today, man. Because I was today. I, I was yeah. like running around all day. My mm-hmm. wife and I were pitching a show tomorrow. Ooh, oh, NBC for NBC. A single camera or three camera? We're gonna lie and stay on um, the 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 other one. Uh, well, multi, multi-cam multi-cam we'll, we'll cam, and yeah. then when we shoot it it's gonna be single cam <laughs> <laughs> lies are you gonna lie to them <laughs> I love that well, tactic. We, you gotta agree with the studio with whatever they want bro mm. cause they, they, uh, later on you rewrite it they never read it again I know mm. I know I mean I'm on a show I, now I, I, and they, I just mm. they they just take things away and they're just so mm. I had one line right I shoot tomorrow I had <laughs> one line that says <clears throat> I know which is like the only laugh I get in the whole episode. <laughs> I know. It, the, the line is, I know. But I, I, in my head, I'm like, I know how I'm going to say it. And I know how I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a little pause, right? To make it a little awkward. And I just looked at the fucking thing and they took it out. <laughs> because I did it at the table read last week. So what do week. you say now? Yeah, I, I'm going to do it anyway, though. Do it. I'm going to fucking do it. You know why? Because white people don't control us. Hell no. Right? We're fucking fat ethnics. And we're going to fucking win, Fuck right? yeah. Are you a fat ethnic like I am? Fuck yeah. You are? I'm fat as hell. <laughs> Me too, man. When you look in the mirror, do you think you should lose weight? Sometimes. A little bit of weight. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the way you... Do you think he's healthy looking? I swear I'm going to do push-ups. <laughs> you oh, you do? swim a lot? Yeah. yeah, yeah I swim yeah. pool in my house. A little mm-hmm. pool. Yeah, but you're. I think you're. A, that's a healthy weight still. I mean, you know, I love Gabriel, but I think that weight is a little dangerous. Don't you think? For who? Uh, people in the elevator or what? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> not, people that, not people on a fucking elevator. I mean, just. Tennis shoes? No, tennis no, 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 not tennis shoes, man. What I'm saying is, he, inside, there are probably going to be complications. Of course, you know, like, I, I don't know like, how, how much the body can hold your heart, you know? Yeah. That's true, but you know what? There are a lot of really unhealthy. S- slender people it's just that their genetics don't allow them to get any bigger but like, there's healthy have, big people right yeah and there are healthy big people like yeah. for instance a lot of he like walks. Filipinos because it genetically we're not like predisposed to being very really big but a lot of them past 50 are all diabetic mm. so many are diabetic that's what you know Rick Ingram right Rick Ingram is a comic you know Rick Ingram from this comedy store he's a comic the one that had a podcast with Eleanor yeah yeah okay. he doesn't he is skinny guy right white dude Super skinny. When he was opening for me at Caroline's back in the day, he was on his tummy, and he goes, I can't move. I go, get up! You got a show to do! And he got up, and he could barely do the show. And he went, Monday, went to the hospital, and he has diabetes. But maybe type 1, since he's so skinny? Why? Maybe he just doesn't produce insulin. Maybe that's more, that's, that's very different from type 2. Oh, type two uh, is something that obesity is that the right causes. Kind of thing? There's two different <laughs> kinds. Yeah, it's very different. There's two different kinds of diabetes. Yeah, there? Is this how many are there? How many are there? Is this new? How many are there? You're, you're, the thing that can you... I get type six? <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, damn. I think you already have it. There's type one and what? 
<laughs> type one is just when you're born and your 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 pancreas just doesn't produce insulin, so there's no way for you to store um, sugar, so you just have high blood sugar always. Okay, well then he has type one, so that my story. We could still I have no, type no, two. Shut the fuck up. I mean, I love you. I mean, but man. let me just say something. I was wrong. I'm not a med- medicine man, and everyone hear it first. Here, there's two types. <laughs> Tiger belly exclusive. <laughs> tiger, tiger belly exclusive. Science tiger alert. science alert. Dude. Exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> Diabetes. There's two types, and be careful for both. Be careful. Everybody. There's die and there's beaties. <laughs> <laughs> you can either get dia or, or beaties. beaties. And you heard it from Doctor <laughs> Felipe Esparza, <laughs> our MD. Okay. Yeah. There's die and beaties. You say that really quick before we get to the next dun, thing. Dun, we have amazing new sponsor. Dun, 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 it's called. Dun, 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 Robin Hood. Robin Hood. Robin Hood is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, Whoa. options, and cryptos. And guess what, guys? What? All commission free. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Hello. They strive to make financial service works for everyone, not just the wealthy. You know, this is for us, guys. Yeah, and especially for someone like me, I get very intimidated. Anyone, anyone, anytime anyone talks about like stocks and yeah. things like that, and I'm kind of a, an amateur in all of this. But so I, when I got Robin Hood, I didn't need George or Bryce or Gilbert. To, or I'm Gilbert. also very good with money. <laughs> me but out anymore. It's very self-explanatory, very intuitive app, and I've been doing all of my stock and investments on there. Yeah, have you guys tried it? Oh, yeah. Bryce, yeah, for free stock. Bryce got a free stock uh, because I uh, because I signed up under him. Oh, funny that you mentioned that because Robinhood is giving listeners free stock like Ooh. Apple. That's awesome. Amazing. Ford mm-hmm. or Sprint to help build your what portfolio. They for that? All they have to do is sign up at tiger.robinhood.com. That's tiger.robinhood.com for your free free stocks. Now back to the show. Woo! I was doing a show on Eleven Live on Saturday. Yeah. The place holds 300, 350, right? Yeah. 125, Friday for a show. 145. They say, wow, that's the most people we had in a while. I said, who was here last week? <laughs> a regular, <laughs> uh, a local guy? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I, I love how they make excuses. When you go on a road and, and it's light, sometimes they go, this the weather. That's it's what the, the club what? said? Yeah. Oh. The like, weather? Or the Lion King's in town. Or the, yeah. They told me Comic Con. <laughs> What? Comic-Con, Comic-Con, yeah. Comic-Con, 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 Comic-Con. 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 we couldn't get no press. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get depressed when you're out there? The Yankees are World Series. So. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, yeah, yeah, man. Whatever, it could be anything. Oh, oh. But I was, when I was there, for well, the first time at Levity Live, there was actually a blizzard, so they canceled the first show on Friday. Wow. Man, it was boring, man. <laughs> it was boring because none of the staff could go home. Everybody was stuck there. Oh, oh shit. wow. Yeah. Did anyone show up to the show? No, there was no show Friday. Oh, uh, but you were just there. It was just there. The hotel was just with the waste staff. And, no, not the waste staff, the hotel. Yeah. People in the hotel staff, we were just stranded there. They couldn't go home either. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Like, I, I kept running into the guy who, who checked me in in pajamas and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm doing this show, and I'm doing jokes about cocaine addiction, blah, 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 blah. Right? <laughs> so so some, somebody's yelling at me, you need help. Right, and I thought I was like, you know, like a little brownie or my conscious saying, "You need help," but I'm talking more about drug addiction. He goes, "You need help." I thought this stupid ass lady was heckling me. Ah, oh. but there was actually a lady on the side having like a diabetic attack. Oh, <laughs> wow. so they were telling her, "You need did, help." Did you attack her? No, I, I waited. They, they, they were telling her, "You need help." Yeah, I thought that stupid lady was heckling me. You yeah. need help. Yeah, because of my drug addiction <laughs> and my cocaine jokes. Uh, yeah, yeah. So she need help, right? So then, um. I said, what's going on over there? Oh, wow. And she said, she really need help? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Fuck, eh? Yeah. Is there a, fuck it, eh? Is there a doctor in this place? Re- and, then, um, and, then, and then he goes, I'm a doctor. Really? You like my comedy? <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go over there. She goes over there and tries to help that lady. I don't know how long it is. I'm trying to be funny. But she's over there, man, trying to keep the crowd going. Oh, oh, tough man. ass show. She comes back. She sits down and... I think they take that lady out to the show, but I gotta bring the car, the the crowd back. Mm. So Oof. I asked this lady, "I'm what happened? How come you you came back to sit down?" She had no insurance. What's that? She told you, she told you a fucking copay. Yeah. <laughs> but I got the crowd back. And then she after the show, we're suddenly merged, 
And right behind her, they're still helping her, man. Paramedics. Oh, oh my damn. God. Right? And, um, man, she, she had like a little bit. Of, she, when she found out how much it cost to drive her to the hospital, uh, 2500 bucks, yeah. she said, I'm fine, papi. <laughs> wait, how, wait, how much is it? 2500 bucks. For every third of a mile, right? Yeah. And if the hospital is far, ambulance rides are so expensive. Oh. Well, okay, let's say I'm a homeless guy. I have no money, yeah. and I need an ambulance. Yeah, okay, say they come to you. Um, oh, if you're homeless, then yeah. the, then the 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 you state take care of takes care of it. Oh, yeah. But you can't walk into an emergency room and not be seen or treated. That's the law. That's the law. Yeah, yeah. everybody gets. But, seen yeah, but I've seen people it. die in the lobby. I mean, those are shitty hospitals. Then. Jeez. Okay. Those are, yeah. the, those are the, the movies. In the movies, they do that. Like St. Elsewhere and shit. <laughs> MASH. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mash. Oh, MASH was a good show. MASH was a good show. Kalila and I went to a... You know, Sandy Shore died. I know, yeah. She, 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 she used to book a show in um, Palm Springs. That's I used to, I did that with the yeah. Did you do it too? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we went to her funeral last night and we left. Well, you we left? don't say it like that. We <laughs> no. drove to San Diego. We left. We we left after two hours, but we did show up. It hadn't started yet. It hadn't started yet. And my feeling about it is is that um, they're looking for a mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean she. I just felt bad because there wasn't not a lot of people there. But we showed up. We showed up. Her yeah. family was there. Polly didn't even show up. Mm. You know, and we went, and um, I just Ooh. I hate. There was no Chinese soup. <laughs> <laughs> they had matzo yeah. ball soup. They had matzo ball. But I just, mm. I hate those types of events. Mm. Mm. Do you, when Marilyn Martinez died, did you go? Yeah. I went too. That was a I sad I went to one. the wake. I went to the wake as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was sad. I saw her, they had an open casket. And that was like the first comedian I've seen just passed in real life. How did she pass? She was very sick. Oh, yeah. She was Paul, sick. Paul was Paul Jiggles was paying for her, for a full time nurse to go visit her at the hospital. Mm. So she would have to be in the hospital, and pay for so much. Yeah. So she was like having a nurse come over, and Paul G was paying for it. And then she passed away. Oh. She was. Um, and then her husband passed away. David. David, David I know David. I yeah. found out when I, that Joey Coco told me that um, he was living in downtown LA, and then he got bit by a rat. And then he got mugged, and, he got, and then he died. Oh but which God, killed him? So the, well, rat the, 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 the rat put him in a hospital. Yeah. Plus he was already sick. Yes. The rat mugged him. The rat mugged him. <laughs> Kalila, Jesus Christ. No, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out like what, like you know, what about the. I mean, he got mugged for then he got bit by a rat. <laughs> yeah, I was like the order. Give yeah, me your yeah, money. You got <laughs> bit by a rat. Been, been into the been into the managers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, David. David, yeah. That's so sad. I mean, David, I love David. He was David. cool, man. He was a good, good good, dude. I used to walk into Nordstrom when he used to work, bro. He used to give me a hook up on shoes. Oh, you, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He used to come over when I was high, on, really high. Mm-hmm. He had and those we, pills. We no. used to party <laughs> with pills. Did I ever give him pills? Huh? Did I ever, give, that, did I no. ever give you pills? No. Oh. Did you guys ever party together? No. No. I, I'm kind of like, so I'm ha- kind of happy that, that way. That probably would have died, you know, or... I we'll probably would do some, something crazy together, so. Well, me and you? Me and you. I, know, or, we, yeah, I we, never really partied too much with Joe Diaz either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I would have partied with him, I could have died early, I think. Mm-hmm. I probably would have partied for eight days straight. Mm. Yeah, I'm one of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I did party too. with Diaz a couple of times. Yeah. That's right, cocksuckers. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I love pussy. So good. pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm tired, bro. <laughs> You know what's great about you and you guys remind me of <coughs> like you guys were a part of that class that are still like you're rising. Do you feel like you're rising? Yeah. That's great, dude. Well, well I'm having fun. It's still fun. Yeah, but I mean, when you were on Last Comic Sandy, did you think you were going to win that thing? Nah. Who, I, I wasn't really thinking about it. I'm just, I'm just happy that I was on, on TV every week. Right. Who was on that show with you that year? Man, I'll tell you, like, a, a lot of people that were not on the top five are pretty popular right now, like Tiffany Haddish. Haddish was... Little, little Rail. Little mm-hmm. Rail, wow. Like Cristel, Cristel Alonso, she had her yeah, show. Right, wow. So and they then, were all on it, but they didn't make the top five. 
Is it Roy Woods? Roy Woods. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. And they're the ones with Mike, Desta- Mike Stefano, but he passed away. Oh, yeah. And uh, Mike Kaplan. Uh, Mike Kaplan, Kaplan yeah. And Tommy John again. He had a, I think he had two pilots. Mm. Yeah, John again. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. With CBS. Yeah, but when you won that thing, I mean, how did you fucking feel? Good, bro. Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to the improv. I, still, I went to like a couple of improv pages, and I, st- and I and I left the comment like with me winning. I said, I guess I got I don't gotta send you a tape no more, right? <laughs> <laughs> but at, when, once you won though, that made you probably like it, you got up easier, right? Everywhere. Yeah, we went on a eighty-five city tour. Oh, Damn. My God. And then my my manager, you know how them agents, man, they know how to find you extra work. Yeah. So yeah. if I was performing in, like in um, I was performing in DC. I did a one nighter. No, I did a, I did a one nighter to DC Improv, and then from there flew to um, New York to do New York. Wow! And then I had like on, on, on a Sunday. From there, I flew to like Virginia to do Virginia Beach for one nighter. So I would do a one nighter at, at an Improv, two hours away from the show, and then I do the theater with those guys. Wow! That's fucking just amazing. to build a little build the audience. Yeah, dude, that's amazing. But are you still close with Gabriel? No, I, well, I don't really see him. Because uh, you were his opening act for a long time. Yeah, long time. For how many, like, how many years? From 2000 to 2004, I guess. Yeah, you guys were together the whole Hell time. Yeah. Do you guys have a falling out? Well, we, we, we haven't worked together since 2004. Was there a falling out? But we know we, we, were, <laughs> we were at the... I know, I'm just asking you a question. Just say yes or no, was there a falling out? Like, what do you mean by falling out? So, <laughs> like, like uh, what well, is different. It, oh, di- it, different falling outs. Yeah, like. different, yeah. Do you no longer we didn't friends? have a disagreement we didn't have no disagreement no like no more longer friends we don't see each other I don't, okay. think we're, I don't think we're friends you know like I'm sure if I see him we'll say what's up right yeah so it's not Probably falling not. out they just kind of I know but they were they were they were two peas in a pod mm-hmm. <clears throat> I, was that uncomfortable me asking that no, question no 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 I'm good I apologize yeah okay <laughs> I really do apologize <laughs> and, I, and I, I feel like I was grilling you okay and I don't know what came over me. <laughs> All right. You're not drilling me. I'm not drilling you. I'll let you know whatever you want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I like that. I, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So you guys don't talk anymore. That's that's it. No. Okay, good. <laughs> Got your answer. You needed to get to the bottom <laughs> of that. I well, talked no. to everybody. I, every, I talked to everybody that used to open up with him. That doesn't open for him anymore. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like Martin Moreno. Noe Gonzalez. I haven't seen him. What happened to little Noe Gonzalez? I put him in his first film. Yeah. Joey Medina was, looking, was making a movie, and he was looking for a restaurant, and I called up Noe Gonzalez. Hey, bro, you want to be in a movie? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, we're going to shoot at your mom's restaurant tomorrow. <laughs> oh my God. Your line is Reservoir Dugs. <laughs> Reservoir Dogs. Reservoir Dogs was live. Because yeah. there's a scene with Gabriel Iglesias and some other two fools. Yeah. And they're talking about movies. Yeah. And then um, uh, Donnie Gonzalez picks up their, their, their um, dishes and goes, Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Really? Free restaurant Free to shoot. Rest- <laughs> yeah, that's how you get location. What happened? You don't know what happened to him? I don't know, man. He just got out of the game, huh? Yeah. I remember we were doing a show somewhere and um, he was arguing with his date. You know, I don't know who she was, but they were arguing loud, man. And Mike Robles was hosting the show, and he kept looking back like this, like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. And I remember I was kind of buzzed, and I walked out to between the, the fights, and I said, listen, man, Michael said that if you can't control your lady, I got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> like said- the Godfather? Yeah, 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 yeah. wow. And everybody laughed. <laughs> everyone laughed, yeah, yeah. fighting. Wow. Yeah, he was a funny little guy. He was this little guy. How tall do you think? 5'2", five 5'3". Five oh, wow. Yeah, little Hispanic yeah. guy. Little cute, little round eyes, right? A funny guy. And I started with him. Hey, kitty, kitty! Yeah, 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 yeah. And he just disappeared. He's a doorman, dude. Yeah, we, I doored with him, too, yeah. He, it's funny, man. He used to, he used to um, go up on stage. Like, I, I used to have a heart attack laughing. Cause he's, he's not... He's not Go up to like a tough guy on, on the way to the stage, start knocking down napkins and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah, yeah. candles, like he was a tough guy. Yeah. But he's knocking over little stuff. Like, <laughs> but that was a joke, you yeah. know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a funny fucking guy. I don't know. Why do people just stop? 
I don't know, man. Gabriel dumps them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I see him, I hug him. I auditioned for a sitcom. I didn't get far. I got one. <laughs> I walked in. I got one. And then um, they never called me back. But um, not the Netflix one, the one before that, the network one. I auditioned for Venom. You did? You did? Yeah. I love that segue. <laughs> you auditioned for Venom? Tom Hardy's Venom. Yeah, I didn't get it, though. With but, the gr- I still got invited to the red carpet. Isn't that weird? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did you really got invited to the red carpet? Yeah. How come you didn't? Oh, my. What, you, you're, but I'm friends with the director, Ruben Flasher. He, he uh, directs our Superstore. Oh. Yeah. Are you on Superstore a lot? I went like three episodes in the first, second season, three episodes in the third season. Oh, that's amazing. I'm still waiting for more than a fourth season. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it was funny. We, um, the movie was badass. And then he go, and then I, I told him, River Flash, a great movie, man. Then he goes, um, everybody know. I said, all right, so hopefully, man, it made like 200 million. Maybe he'll, he'll find out that it was my help, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'll, yeah. He put me in part two with Woody Harrison. <laughs> Car, it could be Carnage Asada. Carnage Asada. Carnage Asada. Carnage Asada. I love that. Yes. That's it. Put hearts on everybody. Yeah, yeah. Milanesa. <laughs> or no, or just have your own superhero movie. Fuck yeah, why not, right? Yeah. This time, right? Yeah, Hispanic. They have Black Panthers and then yeah. they have Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, They're yeah. like superheroes, bro. They're fucking rich. Yeah. <laughs> It's fucking yeah, rich, yeah. man. God damn. Are, are there Hispanic, like in comics, Hispanic superheroes? They are. Miles Morales. There's a guy uh, in, the, in the Spanish magazines, comic books. <laughs> yeah. there's, it's weird. It's this comic. This is, uh, it's weird, man. There's this uh, superhero in Mexico. His name is Kaliman. Kaliman. But, but he's Arab and he flies. Wow. He? he wears a white turban yeah. and a white suit. And he does like kung fu and karate, and he has a K with a circle, and it's Kaliman, <laughs> and he's a superhero. Really? But, he's, but he's Arab. He's Arab, but he's a, he's a Mexican superhero. I know, but That's the thing so is, so weird. <laughs> but that actually makes sense because you have a lot of like Middle Eastern people that live in Mexico. Salma Hayek. Yeah, Salma Hayek's Lebanese, right? Yeah. Lebanese oh, Mexican. I didn't know that. Wait, wait, wait. And, um, you have a lot of. Um, and Carlos Slim, too. Um, just foreign investments there mm. and people even Koreans starting like a lot of companies there yeah and it's so funny because one of the ladies that works on the show I'm on mm-hmm. she's a driver and she's a young girl from Mexico City mm-hmm. and I'm like she goes she has just moved here so I'm like is it weird having an Asian guy you know, yeah. around you <laughs> you're just uh, yeah. it's like, no we have thousands why do you think my sister was born in DFE my dad had business in Mexico and my dad was a Frenchman right yeah. But he had a lot, most of his business was in Mexico. A lot of my family's business, where they made a lot of money, was in Mexico. Wow. That's why my sister was born there. But is Mexico City dangerous? I've never been there. You've never been there? You've been to Mexico, though. You were born there. <laughs> yes. 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 You've been to Sinaloa. But my friend's been to, but it was fun. I've never been to Mexico, but when we were little boys, little kids, my brother went to an elementary school, um, Sierra Park Elementary School. And he was one of those gifted magnet classes. Mm-hmm. He was like a smart little kid. And my brother's good, like, he has superpowers in manipulating people since he was a little boy. So he, he like, like we live in a housing projects. These kids that he goes to school with actually live in homes, you know, with mm. two doors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't hang their clothes outside. They're yeah. washing machine, they have a quarter. <laughs> yeah. And my, my brother, um, he applied for this ex- exchange program, mm-hmm. for an exchange program. In the fifth grade, whoa! And wow. he got to go to Mexico City, and he, he lived over there for two weeks with his Mexican family and Mex- DF. They went to Chiapas. Uh-huh. They saw the Mexican ruins. He got to eat good good ass food. <laughs> yeah. So he got cultured in Mexico, my little yeah. brother. But then it was sad because the little boy had to come to live with us now. <laughs> yeah. We live in a housing <laughs> project, bro. Yeah. Like he went to squalors, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And there were shootings outside, man. Mm-hmm. Wow. And he had to, like, share a bed. <laughs> wow. He got ripped off. <laughs> they got fucked. He got fucked, yeah, yeah. bro. But maybe he learned. But it was funny because this kid was so rich, man. Like, he had a rich mentality. Like, we live in the hood, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're in the city pool. Yeah. And this fool is laying on the floor. Like, he's in the Riviera, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> like in, in his little cute Mexican speedos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tan, like putting on lotion or yes. <laughs> like I, we no one has lotion, but we're getting burned, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting dark. Wow. And he's just chilling there, bro. <laughs> That's so funny. He's so neat. Yeah, yeah. He wipes his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Like he didn't talk with him. for real, dog. He didn't talk with him. First guy I met that didn't talk with a mouthful, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very, very intelligent kid. But just a two week program. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty sure, man. He wanted to leave the first day, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad whipped him. I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucked up. Bro. Foreign exchange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that legal? He don't know, bro. He, doesn't, he, doesn't he know didn't better. read the rules. <laughs> he didn't, he needs his own room. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the trip, um, <laughs> my my bro, my brother like we, we, my dad said oh, my dad took him to he he decided to take him to this to Magic Mountain. Yeah. The foreign exchange student, uh-huh. but he didn't take my little brother. <laughs> so he took me. Oh. So me and the foreign exchange student, we went to um. Magic Mountain with my dad. Oh. My little brother stood home crying and shit. <laughs> right, right. Hating life. That's probably why he likes Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Is your brother still smart? Yeah, he's smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, st- you get close with him? Yeah, he lives in Mexico. Oh, he still? Oh, wow. I want to live in Mexico. I know. We love it, Mexico. Where we go? Well, we went to Tulum. like Tulum. That's <laughs> really That's beautiful. beautiful there, huh? Yeah, it's really pretty. I've seen photos. Oh, yeah, you got to go. I, you can afford it now. You gotta go to Tulum. I read about it in, in, the, in these pirate books. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, pipe because it's the Caribbean. Caribbean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's facing. There's probably face. treasures out there, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we her, we went over there, and I honestly, I could buy a house there. But I wanna go to Oaxaca. Oaxaca, Kaya! What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oaxaca. What's well, Oaxaca? What is it? It's just a completely different part of Mexico. It has its own, like, subculture, too. It's very different. Is it beach still? Mm, no. Oaxaca isn't, right, George? There's some. Yeah. Some? The state has beaches. The state does, but like Oaxaca City is yeah. uh, well inland. Mm. It is. Yeah. But what is there to do there? Make guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> guacamole. <laughs> they have their own culture, but they're, 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 they're like Native Americans, my, some Mayans. Mm-hmm. Oh, they, some they, Mayans. Have, they have their own hot chocolate. Right, right. They have their very own like specific cuisine, too. It's like guisados. They right? probably have temples like they we make, visited. They um, make their own curry, mole. Mole, yeah. 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 Oh, you know about it's very it. Very popular. Wow. How far is that from the Mexico City? Far further down. Oh, so it's south, further down, yeah. more toward Honduras. But you've been to, I've been to Honduras, Honduras, right? With Carlos. Mencia yeah. took me to Honduras. How was it? Um I have to say that um it's my fondest memories with him. You know, I think that um he he helped me out a lot. And I don't know why he did, but he 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 took me in. Dude. He took me to on the road for all those years, and he um, bought me a car. Damn, he did. And he um, I didn't get no car. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and he I didn't get no watch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like Russell Peters gets watches. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he got me um, the agent that I had, still have now. So um, it was a really good um, time, man. We were in a little village and um, no uh, electricity. And I stayed there for weeks. It was great. No electricity? No electricity, no running water. And we, um, it was just animals walking around. And it was really just, I, I, I wanted to leave as soon as I got there. Me too, I want to leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it was great, dude, you know. And then I, I just, we drifted apart. We drifted apart. Have you drifted apart with anybody, Gilbert? Um, everyone in high school. Oh uh, yeah, high schools. Yeah, me too. I don't, even, I don't remember nobody. Where did you go to high school? Roosevelt High School. Where is Roosevelt? Four fifty six South Matthew Street. It's, like it's on Boyle Heights. On Boyle Heights. Damn, Boyle, 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 Boyle Heights. How do you feel about all the attempted gentrification, gentrification. of Boyle Heights? My mom's still there, man. Oh, your mom's still there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my I, I live in my, my mom lives in like in a housing project, so yeah. like. People thought we were, we live in like in a poorer side, so the people that are being gentrified you, you to talk shit about us, but hey, look, you're moving now, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it because, Gilbert, though, is it because you don't talk to people in high school? I feel, because I, no, we were, yeah. we drove around, 
when we drove to the funeral, we afterwards we drove around my hometown. Poway, yeah. yeah. And we're driving around my hometown. Where are you from? Poway, it's San Diego, like east. And we were driving around. I went to my old house. We drove oh, by wow. my old house. And then we drove by high school. Mm-hmm. And there was feelings of... Um, Melancholy. Yes. Mm-hmm. You're fucking connect, man. Melancholy, nostalgia. And there is a longing... Survivor regret, too. <laughs> yes, yeah, survivor, survivor regret. Survivor regret. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Some of that. Mm-hmm. But, there, but the high school lost. that he went to, yeah. I couldn't believe it. It was like... <clears throat> It was a university. The high school I went to was fucking ghetto. Yeah, because my parents worked hard and provided for us. My parents, you know, okay. were not, you know, we didn't. I, need, I needed a pool and a tennis court. My God, <laughs> it was a massive school. We didn't, you yeah. needed it. They had like TVs outside. They had a real parking exactly. lot. Exactly. How do you watch the news at school? Oh my God. Okay. You grew up with a silver spoon in your mouth. I really did. I We, we had a country I was club. We played golf. You know what I mean? Shit, we TP'd. My... My class, my high school had classes like industrial, like welding, (laughs) (laughs) metal shop. You guys had that? Wood shop. Yeah. Yeah. Mechanic. Mm -hmm. We had that too. We had Hesher. No computers though. No computers. No computers. We didn't have computers either. No computers. We had computers. You had had computers? computers? No no computer lab. Wait, I graduated in 2001 and we still didn't have computers. 1990. Where you went? Where'd you go? I went to Blair High School in... um, I think like Carter High. (laughs) (laughs) It was probably similar. It was like... It Blair High School. So te- where's that at? It's on the on the cusp, all the way down South Pasadena, right before um like By East Mir- LA. Mir? No, no, Mir is on Lincoln. Okay. Um, Blair High School was like the the worst school in in that area, or yeah, was. And I, I grew up in the ni- I went to high school in the 1980s, so we did have computers. Yeah. We did not. Yeah, but shit, you guys. But were let rich. me say something. I never touched mm. it. We had computers in junior high school at El Sereno Junior High School. I was in the magnet class, and we had computers there for like six months. That's it. And I remember making like, I remember actually making um, a little cartoon jump around and hit a ball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. yeah, yeah. But I didn't write the program. I just typed it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Techie, huh? Technology, Tech man. guy. Yeah, but I remember guy. my class like. My school, my high school, my junior high school going on strike like three times in, since I was there. Wow, that must be weird. Like the teacher we, walked out and um, my history teacher, he got fired because he was running the strike. Oh. He was cool, man, Mr. Shaughnessy. He was history <laughs> teacher and um, I was fucking up a lot. And then like he, he would always have extra credit. No. So um, I, w- I, went to, uh, I went to a school meeting, union meeting with him with a bunch of other students and his bug and... He gave me like extra credit for going with that, and Aww. I didn't know this fool had like a communist poster hanging, like, <laughs> hanging on his door. That's probably why he got fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was, it was cool, man. When they went on strike, did I the like, school, I cl- like school close? No, man. They, they, some we just put everybody in the auditorium. Uh, Do you still keep in contact with anyone from high school? High school. No, some people like are on Facebook. They go to my show. They know who I am. Mm. Not mm. A, not everybody, just a few. Yeah, I feel that's what I'm saying. I feel guilty because I feel like because I had this obsession, this obsession to like make it in in comedy and all that stuff that I was just so focused on that that I betrayed my roots and the people I went to high school with and I no longer have any connection to them and I feel like that I did that. You could buy jumper pants. What do you mean? You can buy those jumpsuit <laughs> pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the zippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do I feel? Do you don't feel guilty? No. I you feel like you want to save them, but well, you can't. Well, first of all, I want to. I, I, I want to go. I want to go. I want to go back and go. Like, like, have you been to a school reunion? They don't. They've never. They've never you, invited me. I've never been invited. I never. I didn't graduate from high school, though, but they haven't been invited. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. but I'm from Boyle Heights. I know, I'm pretty sure you're from your neighborhood. Yeah. You're from that high school. Mm-hmm. Where's my little print up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like, where's true. my little yeah. success story? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like in the yearbook. Like, like every time yeah. they go, like they put up like Boyle Heights grades. Yeah, they go all the way to 50 years ago, man. Yeah, yeah. Or like somebody from the 1920s, 1940s. <laughs> Look at the Hall of Fame of my school. Hall of Fame. I'm not mentioned in any of it. And the people that are on their Hall of Fame, they're. Blink-182? No, they're not in it either. No, they're, they're not? No, Blink-182's not in it. I'm not in it. 
they only have like scientists and violinists, and, like, Nobel Peace Prize, and Nobel Peace. Yeah. They they only think that that's worthy of to be in the Hall of Fame. They don't they don't care that a, a little fat Asian guy artist from their school spent eight years on a sketch show on national TV. You know, he's doing a fucking nationally syndicated fucking podcast nationally with, great, syndicated. with great fucking A-list stars like Felipe Esparza's. <laughs> and we, they don't care about any of it, okay? I'm on a network television. They don't give a flying fuck. Well, they also put you on the re- wrong yearbook. They they put my photo in the wrong yearbook because they thought that I was blunged in the other school. <laughs> So my point is is this, Piley High, get your shit together because I went there, you know I went there. And you're a star. Right? I'm not a star, but you're- I'm the closest to a star that they've seen. Okay? Yeah. Mm. So that's it. I get so yeah, angry. Yeah, get your shit together, Boyle Heights. My I God. Yeah, Boyle I, I, Heights. Actually, I, used, I, was, um, I was an honoree at the Mexican Independence Day Parade in East LA. Well, well, then there you but go. Wait, you got yeah, something. But that's I, I is- just remember, though. But when they called me, my wife told me, oh, so I'm not Grand Marshal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Grand Marshal was Emilio Rivera from Sons of Anarchy, which was cool. Mm. Right. Yeah. He's but way bigger than you. I got to get in a limousine. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got in a limousine, and I got a bullhorn, and I was talking to people. Oh, that was <laughs> the old oh, fun. Oh, that's cool. Is there a Korean parade? K-Town parade? I did, I, did, I did one of the gay parades. You were the Grand um, Marshal? No, I wasn't the Grand Marshal, but I was <laughs> on a Pride? Yeah, in, on Pride? Sunset. I remember it was on Santa yes, Monica Boulevard. Yeah. And I remember I was in like a, th- I don't know why they invited me, but I was in a purple thong. <laughs> you sure thong. you don't know why they <laughs> Yeah, I was in a purple you? thong. And I was on a, f- <laughs> I was on a fucking, a rat, like a, like a kind of a boat. A float? It was a, like, it was shaped like a boat. And there's supposed to be a party on the boat. And I'm just on this boat with a bunch of other guys and speedos, and, I, and, and and there's a glitter being thrown, and I'm doing this. Is other comics or just you? No, I was the only one, and I was like, "What am I doing here?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was years ago. I was on I was on I was on a Mad TV. Yeah, there can he? It'd be funny if he was on that float, and I thought it'd been funny. Oh, I'm gonna get in my underwear, but then I'm like. Everyone thinks I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> Why are still gyrating? Yeah, yeah. I always, I was like, they think I'm gay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so I did that. And then I think they invited me the next year. I said, no. Good. Yeah, I put my foot down. <laughs> put my so foot fun. Down. That sounds fun. What? I'd still be, I'd, I'd still want to see you up there. Yeah. Um. Where are we at? We're over an hour. Wow. Wow. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Mm-hmm. Felipe, at the end of our show, this is what we do. What man? We do a thing called um, unhelpful advice, and we okay. have emails asking. They have problems, people out there, and we try to give them advice. But sometimes they, you can say whatever you want. Okay. Okay. So go ahead. Unhelpful advice with Bobby Kalima and Felipe Esparza. Uh, this question uh, comes from our friend Uchit. I'm a huge fan of the show, and I think I might have gone through all 161 episodes in the past four months. Wow. I moved to the U.S. for my graduate degree over two months ago, and I've struggled to make any real friends, and I feel like I don't belong. I guess I thought I'd find it easier to fit in because I've been heavily influenced by American culture all my life. I even spoke English back home in India the vast majority of the time. I had this intense social anxiety all of a sudden and get overwhelmed by how different I am to everyone around me. I can't get over the fact that I sound just like Apu from The Simpsons whenever I'm around Americans. I was hoping you guys can help, seeing that Kalila might have experienced something similar when she moved to the U.S. from the Philippines. Thanks for getting me through these past two months, Uchit. Oh, from India. Uchit. Moved yeah. here as an adult. He's Strong accent. He's Self-con- what, what, what city does he live in? Uh, doesn't say. That's a big That's part a of big it. That's a big part yeah. of it. It's a big part she of it. Should wear a Big Bang Theory shirt? And then people <laughs> think he's just joking. <laughs> <laughs> he's like doing a bit. Yeah. Long bit. <laughs> How old is he? Did we know how old he is? Uh, graduate, so... Wait, graduate in college? Yeah, I think, yeah. He's getting his graduate? Uh, I moved to the U.S. for my graduate degree. Okay, so over like two 24. months ago. What's a gra- so, is that like a bachelor degree? No, After beyond bachelor, that. So, so like it's maybe 23? 22, 23. 22, 23. From India. What I would like to, I like to tell you is Ichu. Ichu. Uchit. Whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What I want to say is, is that I don't think it's you coming here and exp- it's it's. I think it's just difficult to meet people in general. Yeah, even if you had, if you weren't from, if you were from here. I mean, I, I, 
I honestly like if I when I first started in comedy, for instance. It took me years to find any real like friends or people I go, oh, I like this person. I mean, I I'm not, I had never had a lot of friends. I never had a lot of um, before I even did stand up. I had two friends. Mm-hmm. Mm. One of them was from high school, and um, I couldn't get laid, and I couldn't get anything going. I had no future, and it was really depressing, you know. So I don't think it's um, I think dude, you're just in America. It's hard in America. And if you live in LA, I think it'd be easier, don't you think? Where do they live? That's we don't know. We don't know. Because if he's in Missouri, then that's the reason. But I think that you can find people anywhere. I just think it just takes time. If you're someone like me, I'm. I don't. I don't make friends very easily either. Right. But when I came from um, the Philippines, I had a very strong accent. People definitely pointed it out oh. every single time. My T's were over accentuated, my consonants. And they were like, where are you from? But you don't look. It's always like mm. a discussion about where I was from. When we met on Tinder, her one of her messages, one of them was, we were about to talk on the phone. And yeah. You were sick. Yeah. But she goes, I'm sick, but I also have an accent. She made a point. Yeah, because it's always something that people like will point out. Like, oh, you know. So I'm like, yeah, just... And I'm like, and then when I talk to her, I'm like, "Uh, dude, what I heard, you know, I don't hear. You got the shine. (laughs) (laughs) You were sick for sure. You had a groggy voice. Yeah. 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 But I I never thought accent, accent. I love accent. An accent, I think. But I know what he's saying, though, because people think he sounds like Apu from The Simpsons, which is like a very, you know, if you had a British accent, people see that as, ooh, sophisticated. Yeah. But not if you're from India for some reason. That's that's a a stereotype. I don't know what to tell this guy, man. I think you'll find your people. I think that you should not think that that's a, that's a bad thing at all. It makes you different time. and special. Take, Take your time. Don't what rush. Church? Hey, church is a good way to yeah. is a good one. meet yeah. people. Yeah, but are they fun? <laughs> man. What, man? Crazy people, crazy hot people go to church. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be a true. crazy woman there. Right. That's so true. Yeah. Really? Oh, my God. They're that couldn't be true. Looking for a nice guy, and then he's a nice guy. See, I was wondering if I lived in a small town... And I went to a church and I didn't believe in God. Could I still go to church and meet people? Yeah. Sure. I think it's a good sense of community for sure. And you know, the Why craziest cousin I have, she's um she's married to a um the pastor of um Ooh, what's that's... the religion where they have to wear long skirts and they can't cut their hair? Seventh day Adventist. Oh uh, no, no, no. Fuck. Anyways. <laughs> have me too. <laughs> Anyways, uh, on Hulu. Uh yeah, but she married the pastor, and she's by far like the wildest cousin I have. Mennonite, not Mennonite. But it's... does she believe? She believes in God and all that stuff, and believes in. Yeah, but she believes in a whole lot of other stuff too. Oh, you know right, what I right, mean? right, 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 right. The church is. Give just me her... another one. I, hate, I mean, I like. Good we, luck. Damn, we couldn't help him. We couldn't help him. I can't help him. Give me okay. another one. Uh, <laughs> I can't yeah, help. Yeah. We're gonna skip you. <laughs> no, we we talked about no. it. We just gave him the fucking thing. Okay. Um. Hi guys, big fan of the show. Discovered you through H three H three. And pretty much watch all episodes. I'm 18 and brown, and I haven't had sex yet because of my dick. I've had opportunities to get laid, but I'm insecure about my dick. It's 5'7", and I'm below average. Hold on. His dick is 5'7"? No, he's 5'7". No, I'm insecure about my dick. It's 5'7". That's fine, sir. (laughs) And below average. So I don't want to pull... Five inches. Five inches? Five. Five Almost six. centimeters? Almost five seven. That's a... Five inches erect. Five inches and seven centimeters. He shouldn't be pulling it out then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He says, I don't want to pull it out, you know? Not only sex, but this is also a way to get into it. Here's the thing. Yeah, Here's the thing, yeah. though. Don't worry about it. And ask anyone that's ever seen my penis. And I, I, you've all, everyone in this room, aside from Felipe, everyone's seen my penis. Oh, Felipe. Have doesn't? you seen my penis? Yes. Have you seen, when did you see my penis last? Uh, last week. I last week, yeah. yeah. When's the last time you well, saw my penis? Last week when we did Patreon. Yeah, yeah about you? Last week. Okay, so everyone, all the, guy, all the my, guys in the room right, seen it last week. Right, I think every male comic at the comedy store has seen my penis. Uh, How many times have you seen my penis? What Two. this one? No, just in general. <laughs> Thousands. Can you count it? Uh, Thousands. Uh, it's small. You do, you throw the one with the OR too, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's small, right? I don't think it's small. No, but when it's flaccid, it's small. Everyone's tiny when they're flaccid. That's my point, friend. Okay. Yes. Whereas, That's the point. When it's not in the, when the machine's in rest mode, <laughs> okay, <laughs> shrinkage, right? It's it just it's just chilling. Yeah. Okay. 
It's like a little like it's a sleep. It's a sleep. It's he's tucked. Hibernating. He's hi- yeah. exactly hibernating, right? A cocoon. And if a girl likes you and you're in bed and you're erect, it she's not gonna if it if it's two inches erect, she might go ah. Uh, uh. That's a little weird, mm-hmm. right? But if it's anything above four inches, yeah. you're fucking fine. Yeah, okay. She's yeah. gonna I'm feel it, right? I was, you have a flat fat dick, I bet. Yeah, uh, it's, not, <laughs> it's not long. It's not long, but it's, but it's fat. fat. Yeah, I, I heard the walls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Four there, by four. Go in there scraping. Yeah, yeah, that's the most important yeah, those part. Are called, yeah. Those are called the four yeah. by fours. Would you rather have a deep, uh, like a long dick or a thick dick? Thick for sure. Thick, man. Yeah. You don't so, want a noodle dick? I don't know. Those are kind of cool, too. Coke can. I mean, that's fine. This guy's got a pretty insecure about his dick. Well, there. Uh, a a coke can. What if he has a noodle dick? What if he has a noodle dick? I would rather... I would rather have a short dick than a long noodle dick. Why? Well, what I'm saying is I fell in love with a guy with a micropene. I told you guys the story. Yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful and story. And even yeah. after I saw how tiny his dick was... I still wanted to be with him. I was so in love with him. Listen, friend. See? Yeah. There you go. There you go. There we go. She's got to give really good head, though, okay? She's got to make up Wait. for it in other ways. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you yeah. mean? You think that fucking <laughs> girls are the only ones that give head? Yeah. You fucking... <laughs> That's why you said wait. Although there is a kind of vagina I don't like. No, see, that's bullshit. Don't want to talk with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, You're, not like, You're not a man. You're not a man. I ain't pussy with chopsticks. <laughs> I, I grab, I grab the tail like an artichoke. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Do you like every style of vagina? Yeah. Most of them, yeah. Yes, come on, Bobby. Do you like every style of vagina? I, I never complain. It can be yeah. in, it can be out. I don't, come I don't on, complain. be a man, dude. It comes in all shapes and sizes, except for Sometimes, you know, like, the girl might have a, like a... A big, not a bigger vagina, you know. She's a, she's an Audi, you know. The yeah, Audi, yeah, the butterfly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like when, you, when she's on top of you and jumping, I was like, she's clapping. <laughs> like, good like, job, Felipe. Yeah, good job. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She gives me a standing. Oh, that's a good way to look at it, man. I never thought that's of that. That's healthy. Yeah. It's very like, healthy. Ruffles, potato chips, <laughs> barbecue flavor. <laughs> barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. Um, wow. Felipe, do you want to plug anything? Yeah, man, go watch my HBO special and my Netflix special. I'm going to be in um, the Tampa Improv next week, and this week I'll be at the Cullen Hall in Houston, Texas, and the Majestic Theater in um, Dallas, Texas. When you're in Tampa, say hi to um, Bob for me. I will. You like Bob? Yeah, he's Yeah, good. I like him. He's a good dude. He's always busy. He has his shirt tucked in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other guy, right? What's his name? I forget. Yeah, him. I, <laughs> I, I stopped playing that room. Because Why? Because... It was um, dead. Not just dead. It was they're just tough shows for me. I don't know why. Every time I'm there, that for some reason that room, it's because I was I played there in the summer, and it's so sticky oh hot. My oh god. my god! I you hate mean, it. Just stripping. You gotta meet people outside. It's hot. Yeah. No AC. Sweat. It's no, still it's, it's humid outside. It's humid, oh, dude. Shit. Even on stage, it's cold. But I mean, the air conditioner. You can still feel it. You, you yes, can still feel bad. it. It's bad. Oh, gosh. And then you get off and you're just like drenched. It's like it'll start raining, but it's still a hundred outside of the community. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So it's it's a, it was. T- there's a peanut butter place there I like, but anyway, um, <laughs> peanut butter shop. No, there's a peanut butter like a restaurant there that oh. serves, serves only peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Mm-hmm. There are lots of cigars too. If you want cigars, yeah, good cigars. Yeah, yeah. And I also. This is before I met you. I know you got three girls in one night. Pregnant? You've, you did. In, you love freaks the over there though in Tampa. Anyway, yeah. I love Tampa. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say? There's a lot of freaks over there. In yeah, Tampa. a lot of freak. It's freaky over there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Ebo, right? Ebo City, man. Yeah, bud. There was a strip bar there with a ship like a like a spaceship. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You went to that one? <laughs> that I went to that one. Yeah. You still go to those? No, not anymore, man. I'm Either. married, man. Yeah, I gotta go. I don't go. Married man, see, babe? It's yeah. also just I don't want to go. Yeah. She lets me go. Yeah. I go to strip clubs. I know, but she, I don't want to go. Do you yeah. go? No. Yeah. You sit yeah, there. Right, you yeah. got cash. Yeah, right, George. You've been to Sam's in downtown. I've been to Sam's a long time ago. Uh, Sam's is fun still. In downtown? Mm-hmm. What is Sam's? You know, Sam's used to be a Sam, a Sam Bose. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Back what in the what is Sam's? It's a strip club. Strip club downtown. Mm-hmm. 
Very is, diverse. Very very fun. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> give Felipe Espresso a round of applause. What's up, What's up, fool? Check out my podcast. What's up, fool podcast? Yeah, yeah. Check out his podcast. I love his podcast. All right, guys. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah. And we're back. Hey, yeah. And we want to thank Felipe Espresso for coming. I love that fool. Um, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something about people's last names. Um, should I, okay, so we have... You know, we you're all sleepers to us, and we mm-hmm. love you so deeps. But um, we have also real papayas that yep. donate to our Patreon, Patreon, and we're gonna say their names um, live. Mm-hmm. Um, Anthony Pagano, let me see. Pagano. Anthony Pagano, thank you. Love that name. Has to be Chicago right? Kanazawa. Chicago again, mm. my guy, girl. Thank Chicago. you, Chicago. Who's Chicago? We've had him. Chicago? Yeah. No, I just like that name because um, there was a yeah, Chicago. So do do people do it? I know. Let's. I'll to ask later. Yeah. Greg Johnston. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Any relation to Daniel Johnston? H- Hafiz from Singapore. Mm. Ooh. Thank Richest you. Country. Juan J. Ag- Aguirre. Again. <laughs> Aguirre. Aguirre. Yay. Football player. Aguirre. Laszlo Tatai. Mm. I like that one. Love you. Melvin Flores. Life. Life. <laughs> For life. For life, Nick Rempel. Ooh, what is that? Like it, Rempel. love it. Rachel Wickens. Mm. God bless you and take care. <laughs> San- <laughs> Sansi Siraj. I love it. It's like a sauce. <laughs> I'll yeah. Oh, that's a really good name. It's really, I it's, it's, it's like almost a, as if you're punking. Alliteration. They're not, real. <laughs> they're not real names. It's like an alliteration, so right? How Sansi many? How Siraj? many names is that? Uh, that's ten. So there's Anthony ten people Pagano. that do our punch. Why don't we Patreon. guess? No. Why don't you guess their um, <laughs> where there's they're more. from? Guess where they're from. Oh yeah, our, I'll guess. make my I guesses. Don't, it's not a guess. I know. <laughs> but not the guy that says from me. He's from Singapore. No, Anthony Pagano, right? Is from Houston, Texas. No, no, ethnicity is he? Is he? Oh, <laughs> he knows <laughs> really specific. Houston, I'm very Texas. specific. Well, I, I knew what his dad does okay, for yeah, a living. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anthony Pagano. Yeah, Anthony Pagano's dad is a uh, gymnast. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, he has a gym that he 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 trains. has a, a, yeah trains yeah. you know gymnastics. Anthony Pagano, yeah, and he lives what, in Houston. What is he? Sounds Filipino. Pagano is um he's half he's half Hispanic, uh, specifically Puerto Rican, and the second half is um Filipino. Yeah, you're correct. I think it's about oh, right. It sounds okay. like it. Yeah, Dad's p- Filipino. What about Chicago? Chicago Kanazawa. Um, <laughs> you guys all know who he she is. <laughs> he she is. Yeah. yeah, Chicago he she is um. A hermaphrodite out of um, <laughs> Bakersfield. A classic hermaphrodite yeah, out of Bakersfield. He he, you know, moved there as a foreign exchange student from yeah. um, Okinawa. Okinawa, from Okinawa specifically. specifically. Okinawa is its own. And um, when he she went to Bakersfield to do it, this exchange program, um, he she's parents um, disappeared. Oh, that's oh, not gosh. good. So he got serious. stuck in Bakersfield, mm. and he she started to. Um, Join. <laughs> Bakersfield's rich. Remember, we went to that country Our club. Society. <laughs> Agriculture. Society. <laughs> Societies. You know. Greg Johnson. Greg Johnson is a part of the Johnson family. Daniel Love Johnson. Love that family. Yeah. <laughs> Love the that. Johnson family is. Uh, there's not a lot of Johnsons in the world. Wait, no. Johnston, like Daniel Johnston. Johnston is what I Johnston. said. Yeah, Rivals yeah. to the. We yeah. love him. Yeah. To the brain. We don't even know who I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. He's a <laughs> singer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So angry, Kalila. Why are you so we, angry about it? It's like our favorite it, documentary. All right, that well, we've don't watched. get so angry. Hafiz from Singapore Hafiz. is from Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay. So Hafiz from Singapore is from Bangkok, Thailand. <laughs> and he just just tours out there, you know, in Thailand. Uh, uh, Hafiz is originally from um, the Emirates. Wanjie <laughs> Aguiri. Aguirre. Aguirre. Juan J. Aguirre is uh, a New York Jew. <laughs> hmm. He comes from a family of lawyers. Yeah, for sure. Most okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure. New York Jew. Laszlo Tatai. Laszlo Tatai is actually, it's said differently. In his, He's from a, an island off the shores of um, India. Mm. Further north. Sri Lanka? Further north. <laughs> further north. Further north, 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 north India. Further north, north, north of India. India. There are some islands. There's that, islands. Yeah. There are no, wa- there are no oceans. Yeah. There's no uh, oceans, but there is an island. There's an island. Right. And <laughs> what? If we, yeah, and in, in his society, right, 
from where he's the Further island he's from Indian. Yeah. that's in a desert. His island's in a desert, right? There used to be water, but over thousands and thousands of years of depletion. Yeah. Exactly. Topography changes. In his society, his name is Tatai Laszlo. Mm. But we say it this way because... Like Koreans do. Exactly. You're Lee Bobby, right? Melvin Flores, okay, is uh, an ocean dweller. What I mean by that is... <laughs> what I mean what by does that, that mean? What I mean by that is he's adrift. Uh, and what I mean by that... Okay, is and, he, and what I mean by that yeah. is that he's out. Oh, wow. He's out in the ocean. And what you yeah. mean by and, that? And by he's that an oceanographer. Is that he's an oceanographer? Yeah, mm-hmm. Gardo's brother. Steve yeah. Zissou. Yeah. So um, Nick Rempel, right, is uh, f- Rumpel still <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Nephew. Nephew's cousin. Mm. I love that. And uh, Nick Rempel, um, there are some falsely accused charges on him. I'm I'm like, okay, let's take that back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's facts no, are facts. Facts, facts, facts are facts. facts. They're false. Right? They're false, though. And uh, <laughs> he's real. accused of uh, burning down some, uh, you know, churches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay he's, with that. that. And, That's okay. Uh, he's not about organized religion. I got you, yeah. Nick. <laughs> yeah. Black churches. Black churches. Oh well, there yeah. we go. In the south. <laughs> In the south. Only accused. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Only accused. It's not real. Yeah, bad. and um, he wore That's... a little white outfit, but it's I babe. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, cute. It's, come on, come yeah. on. <laughs> Watch yourself, Nick. <laughs> Watch yourself. Uh-huh. Thank you for supporting. Get a us. lawyer. Uh, Rachel Wilkins, right? Mm-hmm. Is she really is uh, fluorescent in in light? Biofluorescent. Exactly what I didn't mean to say. What you didn't mean to say. Is I didn't mean to say that. All right, fluorescent. Biofluorescence. Bioluminescent. Aura. She is half dead. Yeah. Rachel Wilkins. Wow. She thinks she's alive, but when she's walking around, she's an aboriginal of herself. Think about that. Anyway, Sanki Siraj is a sauce. I already said that. I love that. It's yeah. a sauce for sure. Yeah. So thank you, um, papayas. The real papayas. God bless you. So what happened? Um, the Conor McGregor fight. Wow. With Khabib. Habib. What a night. I my brother my brother comes to uh, my house. Did we pick him up? Your brother came here. My brother came here. We go to um, Kalila's um, sister's house, and we do a small gathering. I I was looking for this fight for four months. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was a big fight. And my brother had been obsessing over it. And we all have. Mm-hmm. This was a great card. We go to um, the house. We see it on the big, the big screen. We're watching. And then all of a sudden, Kalila gets a call. The Michelle Waterson and Felice Herrig fight was on, which is the first the um, main, the main, main card. The first fight of the mm-hmm. main card. She gets a call. I look up. And she starts like crying. Her face is. She go, what? I wasn't crying yet. Yeah, you were. Panic face. For panic. Sure. You had panic, panic face. Mm. Tears in your eyes. You're like what? Oh, okay, that's just stay right there. That's great. <laughs> right. She hung up the phone. I, mean, I said that's great. I don't know. I don't know if like she that. said that's something, great. Something, something, something I certainly like that. didn't say that's great. Something like that. Or something like that. <laughs> and then you go um. She lost Remy. Yeah. Yeah. Their dog walker. So our dog walker that we hired, we're not going to say her name. Don't say her name. I want to. Don't say her name. I'm not going to, but I want to. She, our do- middle dog, the oldest one we have. Remy, who Remy. we've already had, a, um, who's right. already escaped twice yeah. from his Houdini. previous. Houdini. Houdini. History, yeah. But not with us. He's never run away from us, but he's run away from other people. Gets out of his little harness and just runs up Beachwood. Okay? Now we're speeding now to here. We were in Atwater. We're coming Speeding back Speeding to get yeah. here. And um, she, Kalila runs up to get Gobi and treats because she thinks that Gobi is she's going to res- that Remy's going to respond Remy to Gobi. Remy loves Gobi. Right. Wherever Gobi goes, Remy goes. Oh. So I thought, And we're okay. now walking up Beachwood screaming, Remy! Yeah. Whistling the whole thing. And here's what's scary. Every night that we've been walking our dogs... We've seen one coyote. We need Johnny. Uh, two, Johnny. That's and nuts. Johnny two blocks up, not two houses up. Yeah, hangs out right there. Yeah, every night. Every night. Every night, Johnny is there. And we we just in my head. I honestly, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought he was gonna he was gonna be. We thought Remy was toast. Toast. Because Remy is old. He doesn't. He's just a slow walker. He's not very agile like yeah. Gobi or the other dogs. He's gained some weight now, so he's a little chunky in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, and we literally thought that we lost Remy. 
and as you're going up and down as time pa- I'm sweating. Yeah, it's and it's also dying. in the in my head, I'm sorry. I'm thinking about how do I get back to the fight too. You know what I mean? That's sad that you even had that thought in your brain. <laughs> Baby, it's a comedy show. I just made a joke. It's Tiger Belly podcast. It's Tiger Belly podcast. podcast. I just made a joke. And you just took it seriously. No, because I think they truly. That's not feel true. That. I'm like, I'm gonna search here forever. So, <laughs> so, so look, why are you? I'm gonna search laughing. here. I'm gonna search here forever. Stop laughing. I'm gonna search here forever. You only, honey, you only know how to half love things. Uh, that's you know what? It's so weird. I tell a joke, and now you're gonna be this person. Relax. Hold on, my mom's calling. Hang on. Uh oh, Remy's gone again. Ma. Hello. Ma. What do you mean you don't trust what the dogs or you don't trust the neighborhood? No, I don't trust if there's a hole that I don't see. Anything, oh, you think Remy you know? will run away? Yeah. Okay. I'll wait for you. Okay, wait and there. Just put him on a leash, Ma. Put him on a leash, wait there. All of the three of them? No, no, just just Remy, not Julio and Goldie. Come on, flipstick. Come on. Can, you know, there's funk <laughs> here sometimes. Okay, okay, I'll just just wait for me then. Yeah. And do you think uh, you can bring that pink cleaner all the way at the bottom of the sink? There's one new one, and I will I will bring a new one when I go there because Kalinda has no more cleaner. Cleaner. Okay. okay. There's a new one there all the way because I both <laughs> you both two and I'll just. Pay you back with that. I'll buy a new one. Okay, Ma. You don't need to pay me okay. back. It's ri- okay. It's no, it's okay. Okay, I love you. Okay, love, love you. Bye. Okay, bye. Added value to this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> she wants me to bring the pink surface cleaner. cleaner. A pink cleaner. A pink cleaner. Okay. So anyway, we and then Searching. she goes to a website while we're walking. It's an app called Nextdoor. That's exactly what it is. Called Nextdoor. And you, what do you put in there? I post that lost dog, please help. Right. And then all of a sudden, she gets a hit. Yeah, someone calls me. I think I have your dog. Yeah. And just in the nick of time, we were able to grab Remy from someone up the street and go back to the fights. <laughs> At this time, because I had, a, I had a, a sitter watch all of my dogs. This time, I brought we brought all the dogs with us yeah, all the to dogs. my sister's house because now I'm paranoid. I'm like, I, I don't trust this person to watch my dogs yeah let's just bring all the dogs over did we pay her um yeah she's like i'll give you a refund and i was like don't worry about it is it a site that we got her from how did you get her yeah a site but maybe they'll the sponsor is down the road so I don't want to yeah, say what just, site. we might want them as a sponsor so. yeah oh, well they should sponsor us yeah but anyway um no harm done we made it we made it to the fight we saw the ferguson fight mm. we saw the uh, khabib and connor fight um it was a great night of fighting. Oh, yeah. So good. Um, From beginning to end. Even in the prelims. Yeah. Connor's loss broke me a little bit. Yeah. Over the years, I've become a, a very big fan of his. But at, at the end of the day... I got it right. You got it right. And um, that little thing at the end, too, the little chaos with yeah. the fighting and this and that. Mm-hmm. I personally don't think it's bad for the UFC. I think it makes it exciting. I think if you get more media from it. And um, hockey's done it. Soccer's done it. Everyone. But they're not fight sports. Hockey is hockey. You so, expect so mixed martial bo- artists to so practice in boxing, it's never utmost happened. discipline. In boxing, it's never happened. It's yeah, of sure course. Happened. But if, you know, it's Holyfield. not. It's not. You're not worried about the fighters getting hurt. You're worried about riots starting and people hurting each other. Like that is a big arena with twenty thousand people. That's the type of stuff that you don't want. People getting trampled on. Like I know fans. Matt Damon and, and Chris Pratt. If they got hurt, I would have fucking sued. You would have sued for them. I would have sued for them. That would have broken my heart. <laughs> David and Chris it Pratt. was totally unnecessary. Uh, but what I don't agree with is Dana White. Like during the press conference, he really painted Khabib to be this like evil guy who might get his like visa taken away. When it's like, here's a guy. Yeah, he jumped out of the octagon and he got into like a little scuffle with Dylan Dennis or whatever. Different, not much different than Conor McGregor jumping out and getting, you know, getting in Josie Aldo's face and whatnot. If he, had, if it had ended there, 
nothing would have That's happened. Fine. But then people, you know, the t- my- the team jumping in to get Connor. But no. you didn't see the the other footage, did you? No, Connor so- punched. Yeah, I know. Yeah. The initial the initial footage only showed Connor just kind of it seemed like Connor was standing there and then just got jumped by a bunch of dudes. Connor was in full action when the He was about that, to jump it, yeah. Yeah, he was he was fighting other people in there too. What I don't like is Dana White talking about a visa suspension, Khabib not being able to fight here and and painting this really like bad image of him. And I really like what Khabib said afterwards where he was like, you know, everyone seems to forget that he had he was really arrested. Like, he put a lot of UFC fighters' lives in danger. Like, how am I the bad guy? But I, I, can I make you that argument, though? Yeah. My argument is is that, true, but you're not that big of as big of a star as Conor. But Khabib is a big star. He babe. is a very big star, but he doesn't... He hasn't made the UFC as much money as but, Conor but, has. So but that's still Conor hypocritical. Will get some, um, but that's still way. hypocritical, It's right? not because it's... It, no, it's like, it's like this. It's like... It's like somebody like in a let's say a movie, the star of the movie, and then somebody that's ninth lead. If somebody starring in a movie does something, it gets bigger news than you know. It's just it's it's hierarchy. Um, I I I think that it I I don't I I really didn't like the way it went down at the end, yeah. but I really do empathize for Habib. I do. I, I don't think that he's the bad guy in all of this. I think that he, he lost yeah. his all cool parties. for a hot second. But Connor, there's a reason why Connor didn't press charges. Yeah. He wasn't even concerned about the fight. Yeah. It was I mean, like, yeah, that shit happens. He was pissed that he lost, really. But, yeah, but, but if we're really, here's the one thing that th- that's a fact. Though. He committed a real offense. Connor did. Khabib and Nagov, yep, right? That's how you say it. Is the true champion. Yep. He is. He is undisputed. Undisputed, tr- undefeated. 27. The guy looks like he'll never lose. His style is um, unbreakable. He has, it's almost as if he has a power that's almost superhuman. I want Connor to still fight. I love Connor. He will still fight. But I, did I think that was a very one sided fight? Yeah. yeah. I mean, and I, and I told you guys too, you what were like, Connor's Con- going to catch him. I was like, tell you what, Habib's going to catch him. And fucking he did. Second he knocked him down. Me, let me ask you something. What, I, if, by looking at the fight, does Connor even have the tools or the ability to beat him? Yeah, can, of course. You have a punch. His John Kavanaugh was talking on Rogan, saying like their game plan did work. They they already assume we will lose the first round. Get ready for ten nine. Just don't get. Just don't exert any energy. Just stay balled up until which the people, he did. Which you yeah. were calling out the whole yeah, time. Yeah, the whole time because Connor wasn't really getting hurt at all. Yeah, he said like, the, the plan was the third round. Then let's try striking when Khabib's tired out. They did, but then yeah. Khabib, it didn't go their way still. They felt like Khabib was still kind of catching with punches. Yeah. So. I don't know, man. I was pretty, I wasn't surprised that it was that much of a mauling. Like as soon as Khabib gets his hands on you, yeah. that guy's a truck. Yeah. I don't think, like someone, I was watching one of the analysis before the fights, and a lot of fighters who fought him, like, you guys don't know what it feels like to actually when he has his hands on you. Everyone knows he's strong, but you don't know just how strong until he's got you down. But that could also help Connor in the next, if they do fight again. Oh, for sure. Because he now knows what it's like to be in there. Yeah. He now knows specifically what he needs to work on. Like him and Nate. Same thing. And it's like the the thing of getting his legs trapped like that, you know, what, I mean, just how do you, how do you get out of that? So that. Intense. You don't you don't defend that. You don't get out of that. And he didn't get out of it. No. Yeah. That's what his goal was not to get out of it. Just sit there and wait. I don't know, man. I, I was really impressed. But Ferguson Pettis. I was Pettis. so impressed. Woo! Wow, that was a wild that, I mean, one. That was a that wild was. one. Dude, I think Anthony Pettis' star is way back on the rise. I know he took an L, yeah. but that was a really exciting fight. It was good times. It was like the old Anthony Pettis again. But El Kukui is a fucking beast, man. That me, was so fun. Give me that and Khabib. Not I love – I the one thing I love most about Tony Ferguson is that it doesn't matter if he's been – if he almost loses in the first round, how bloodied he is or how much you think he's never going to come back and win it. He always comes back and wins it. He always gets into these like massive, just really bloody brawls. You saw John Anik's mm-hmm. shirt, right? How the blood, blood like, flew over. Blood was just over. on his shirt, yeah. That was really nice. impressive. I think Tony should have the first, next shot at Khabib. By the way, I agree. But d- didn't doesn't Tony want the money fight with Connor? 
I think he'll go for that belt first. Because yeah. I want, yeah, Connor should probably take Nate. I think it'd be more exciting. I don't think it's fair that Connor gets Khabib again. I think Ferguson Khabib. I think so, yeah. And I think that if Ferguson wins, then Ferguson Connor would be a big fight. Another big fight. Yeah. yeah. And then Connor gets it back, and then Khabib. I think that'd be good three way. Lots of. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of money there. Oh, God, I really, really wanted to see like a post fight interview. From the both of them, and it's, well, I got, feel you got, gypped you got in that Habibs. way. Yeah, but I really wanted to hear Connor. I wanted because he's always such a gracious loser, you know. Oh yeah, he's no. He would have been like, yeah, I fucking lost rematch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any shows for Bobby? Yes, Bobby will be at the Brea Improv mid November. After that, he'll be at the Arlington Draft House, um, and then San Diego at American Comedy Company in December. Go to BobbyLeeLive dot com for um, for more dates. And uh, thanks to all our sponsors, 23andMe, Ridge Wallet, and Robinhood. Order your 23andMe Health and Ancestry Service Kit at 23andMe.com slash Tigerbelly for 10% off, uh, 10% off a slim, slick, and futuristic-like Blade Runner wallet. Go to RidgeWallet.com and use the code Tigerbelly. Did and for a free stock to help build your profile, sign up at Tiger.Robinhood.com. Tiger.Robinhood.com. Uh, any other announcements before we go? I don't know. Did I write anything? One second. Did I get my 23andMe back yet or no? No, I did, but we'll talk about it when. Uh, let me see. Anything? Um, but make sure uh, if you guys have any, it would help us uh, greatly to go on to iTunes and give us a five star review and uh, shoot us a uh, um, little review. <laughs> also, uh, I want to we'll... say one more thing. After the podcast, I remember that we did have computers at Blair High School. Um, we only had a few, and they were very, very old. But I do remember having a typing class. Of there. So I take that back. Fact checked. Fact herself. checked. She fact yeah. checked. Herself. My memory has failed me. I was like, really? We didn't have computers? And like, we did because I remember Mr. Sells, who was like this redheaded, really heavy set man, and he was so nice. Well, that was her teacher crush. There you go. Not quite, but redhead. Yeah. a redhead, a larger redhead man. Yeah. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Tigerbelly, on Twitter at the Tigerbelly, and email us any questions at the Tigerbelly at gmail.com. Kalala, we can follow you at? At Calamity K. George Kimmel, we can follow you at? Bryce Alec. You just follow Bryce at yell at Bryce. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then you can follow everything Bobby Lee at BobbyLeeLive.com. Have a good night.